guys and ladies. Well, today it's fish cakes with crappie. I've only done this uh, recipe a couple of times before and uh, so I'm very likely to mess up, but that might be part of the fun of watching. Let's see what happens. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is cut up some green onion here. I like the color of green onion and they taste good too. This much ought to be plenty. I'm going to try to chop up a red pepper, red bell pepper. Let me get these seeds out of here. I'm just heating up on medium heat a tablespoon of butter and I'm using a medium pan. I'm just going to cook this for a while till I see it uh, getting soft. It's colorful though. Uh, these veggies seem to be soft enough. Let's just let's just uh, stop the cooking process and uh, put them in a bowl and I'm going to let this cool while I go about some other chores. I'm just drying up about a pound of these crappie fillets. They're very small. I like them better than the really big crappie. I think they taste a little better. Now I'm chopping these quite fine. You'll notice that it's raw fish and that's okay. I know that most recipes call for cooked fish but these cook up so fast because they're small and delicate fish that they'll just do fine in the fish cake. I have it all pretty well chopped up now. It's just about done. Nothing to this part. Now that's the way it ought to be. Now to the skillet here, I've added uh, two tablespoons of butter and now some peanut oil. Doesn't matter what kind of oil, but you want to just cover the bottom. Maybe a little more. There you go. Heat it up. So let's start mixing the fish cakes. Here's the uh, crappie fish. Now I've got two tablespoons of flour, but I'm using coconut flour because it's low in carbs and it has a nice taste too. But you can use regular uh, bleached whatever flour. I think this is a little more healthy. Now you probably know that with fish cakes or crab cakes, the, the less the binder, the better the, uh, the product. And um, normally you would be adding just a scant three tablespoons of breadcrumbs, but I'm going to do that even one better because I'm on a low carb diet. I'm going to grind up these pork rinds. Believe it or not, it, it ought to work. Three tablespoons of ground up pork rinds. But if you're not on this crazy diet that I am, you go ahead and use three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Actually, it's more like four tablespoons of this uh, breadcrumb substitute we call uh, pork rinds. I've used the unflavored ones, but I've heard of people using barbecue flavored. Now, I like my thing spicy, so I'm going to add a half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Well, I'm not stopping there. I'm going to add, oh, almost a teaspoon of hot red pepper. Now I'm going to add a half teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. You don't have to go crazy like I am, but I'm going to add a half teaspoon, just a half, of uh, Old Bay seasoning. I like it spicy. Now I'm adding three tablespoons of mayo. Now, just one egg, a large egg. That'll help glue everything together. Uh, remember the pepper and onions? 
Well, I'm adding that. Well, I'm going to mix it all together with this spatula. Well, there's our mixture. Okay, I'm making uh, little patties now using a small ice cream scoop and a spatula. I'm going to drop them right into the uh, oil, the buttery oil. I'd like to cook these about three minutes on each side. That will ensure that the fish inside gets cooked and they'll be nice and brown. Since they're falling apart, I've decided I'm going to dig in here with my hands and make these uh, little patties myself. Nice. They hold together a lot better when you don't use tricks. Now that last batch uh, looks pretty darn good. I'm ready to dig in now. That's Big Boy sauce I have uh, that I use for tartar sauce. Big Boy restaurants are all around the country, but not in every state. So I'm lucky to have a place close enough to me that I could get their sauce. Well, my beautiful wife isn't here tonight, but um, you're going to have to rely on my judgment. And believe me, this really tastes good. It's a little spicy, so you could tone it down, but I love it like this. I can't believe I made crappie taste this good. Thanks for watching.